Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. No one's in monitor mode. No one's in action mode at this time. There's an area to watch, and I do believe it is going to at least develop somewhat. But again, still just watching how this evolves the next couple days, right? So I want to keep everything in perspective. This is the spot to watch, though, near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, over toward Haiti and south for that chance of some development uh, as we go throughout next week. Now, with that said, a higher likelihood a tropical storm does try to form in the Caribbean. So I want to go model by model. I want to show you the water temperatures and the heat content, which is most likely the most important ingredient in all of this. We'll cover that in this video, but this is the spot to watch. Remnants of Oscar, I'll cover that. Of course, we've had some rain and storms, parts of Grenada last night, Trinidad and Tobago, and this over here, this is Christy, a powerful hurricane, but right over water where we like it. But let's start with the potential of development. It's this area in here for next week. Now, the American model, the GFS, has this becoming a hurricane. The European model has this becoming a tropical depression or even a tropical storm at this point. Everything is now starting to trend towards some development. Even the Canadian and the Icon, the Icon German model, uh, don't have this becoming a storm yet. Uh, but they are starting to hint at some sort of circulation developing. So all of the models now are kind of trending toward that chance of development. So more specifically, I'd like to show you everything I'm seeing out there and then kind of fine tune everything. Here's the American model. It has this area next week eventually developing into a tropical storm and then eventually trying to become a hurricane. I'll show you this model. It's one of the kind of the scarier ones, but I want to keep it in perspective. This right now is the only model that is showing this becoming a hurricane hurricane, right? Uh, the other ones do not, but we'll see how this goes. The heat content is really going to play into this. I'll show you that in a moment. And yes, it has been a terrible season. So uh, even though this is the only one showing this becoming a hurricane, I'm not discounting this. The American model's done a good job this season, but so has the European model with uh, certain systems. The European model now is hinting at this becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm. Tropical depression is right below tropical storm status. But more and more as we get closer to next week, the European model starts to hint at some sort of development, then kind of lifting it up to the north. So things are kind of latching on to the idea of, of some development. Now, here's the deal with the Canadian model. Right now, it's not showing a storm, but it's actually showing two areas to watch. One that I've been pointing out and a potential of another area of low pressure developing uh, near the Turks and Caicos of Puerto Rico because we have these fronts this time of year. They leave leftover moisture. That's why early in the season and late in the hurricane season, we look in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean for development. The middle of the season, we're looking off the coast of Africa. These fronts that come through, the fall fronts, they often leave some of that moisture. So the Canadian model is saying, hey, we need to keep an eye on two spots spots back to the icon German model as of now not showing any development. Now the biggest concern though in the short term will be next week the flood potential wherever this big area of rain goes even if it even if it's not a named system right wherever it goes we're going to have a lot of rain so that's my first uh, concern with that that now I don't just look at the models I look at the environment what's going on at the surface and the water and what's going on above our heads. Now, as we get more out in time, I'll break down the wind shear. I need to kind of uh, wait a few days to uh, uh, kind of highlight that. But the water temperatures in this pocket, very warm right in through here near Jamaica and Haiti. We're looking at 30, 31 degrees Celsius, 86 to about 88 degrees Fahrenheit right in here. So very warm. But it's not just that we have warm water temperatures here. This is the worst spot for something in the entire Atlantic Basin as far as the potential of development. The Atlantic Basin is the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. And right in here, you see that blob right there, right near Jamaica and Haiti. That is not only some of the warmest water in the entire Atlantic Basin, but this is the heat content, which means where we have that shading there, the warm water goes down pretty far. So as the water uh, just gets churned up with a system on top of it, it just brings up more warm water and kind of fuels it. So this is a bad spot for something to develop, and that's why it has my attention. Conditions, at least at the surface, surface are very conducive for development. I'm hoping down the road the wind shear above our heads is not. I do not want a system to develop. But as I mentioned, even if it's not a named system, the flooding is going to be a high risk. So this is the area we're watching right in here. So uh, I'll break things down uh, in a bit more specifically for a short-term forecast, but watching in here. Now, what we're gonna watch is across the US, these fronts. Sometimes these fronts could drag something to the north or slide something off 
toward the uh, east. Or if the fronts aren't powerful or numerous, sometimes an area could drift to the west. But as of now, it looks more likely that either something kind of lifts to the north or slides back toward the east with some of the fronts up to the north. So here's the American model. And remember, keeping this in perspective, that this is kind of the scarier solution uh, with this. The other models are not showing something quite as strong at this point. But this weekend, these tropical waves that have been moving through that brought us some rain in Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago, they slide a lot of moisture off to the Western Caribbean. So the tropical moisture is going to be in place later this weekend. And we'll see the moisture building together in some of these uh, videos as we go throughout the weekend. And then by the time we get into Tuesday, you see kind of two spots. And that's what the Canadian model is picking up with an old front nearby, some extra moisture near the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and then this spot in here. But most of the models are trying to develop this area here. But that's why the Canadian model I showed you was kind of watching two areas. And I'll do that too behind the scenes, of uh, course, watching everything. But as we get into Wednesday of next week, so this is well down the road. We're talking a solid five days away, tons of rain. And this is my initial concern. I do believe this will definitely happen. We're gonna have a lot of rain. Does, it, does that rain sit on top of Jamaica? Is it more so Haiti or the Dominican Republic? That's a wait and see. You need a couple days to fine tune that. But the rain threat is going to be substantial in parts of the Caribbean next week. So I'll be able to fine tune the flooding and rain amounts as we go forward. But the American model says, hey, late next week, because there's going to be a lot of rain around, the water temperatures are so very warm, something's going to develop. And then right there, look at that. You see that green right there pulling back through Texas. I actually wish it was more rain for our friends in Texas. They need the rain. But that's a front. As this front moves in, it takes whatever this area is and starts to lift it to the north. I mentioned those are the steering conditions, watching the fronts up to the north. And here, the American model saying next week, a week from now, some uh, a hurricane will develop either near Jamaica or Haiti and then lift up to the north, uh, potentially near the Bahamas in parts of Cuba. Now, is this going to happen? I'm not sure yet. That's why I do appreciate you sharing this video to get the correct information out because there's going to be a lot of this on social media showing this hurricane and all that sort of thing without the proper perspective that we still need to see things evolve. I mentioned I need to see what's going on above our heads uh, as we get into uh, next week to see if this could even even develop quite like this. So thank you for sharing this information uh, to get the proper word out that we are, we're not even in a monitor mode. We're just, we're just kind of watching things together as of now. Now, here's a closer look uh, as we uh, kind of uh, switch gears just a touch. This is where we're going to see that moisture building. So you see the rainstorms here that have moved through parts of Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. This is a, a tropical wave. We're going to see a couple just kind of help build that moisture back to the west. So as we go out in time to together. You can see it here, and this is what we'll be watching the short term together, how this moisture builds this weekend. So these tropical waves move in. We'll have some scattered showers and storms in the eastern Caribbean, but nothing organized. But then the moisture just kind of piles up here. You see it as we get into tomorrow, we're going to have a better chance of rain in parts of Central America. So the rain chance higher, uh, Belize, for example, Honduras and Nicaragua. That is the first sign of of some action starting to develop. And then on Sunday, we'll see even more. You see this moisture just kind of feeding in. Better chance of rain on Sunday through the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, for example. And then going forward, we'll see more and more of this. But these tropical waves are moving in, adding to the moisture here. And then next week, we're gonna watch out for the potential of development. Now, if something develops, those seas are obviously going to be a mess in parts of the Caribbean. Here's the outlook in the short term. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico, we're looking good. These are the wave heights, meters and feet on the right-hand side of your screen. This is just rolling through the weekend. Bit of a chop in the Central Caribbean with the tropical waves moving in. Nothing too alarming, but as we get into next week, this here is by the middle of next week. You can see if something starts to develop, those seas will be very strong. And of course, this moisture as well with this old front. We're gonna see very choppy conditions to very rough conditions in parts of the Atlantic, near the Bahamas, and potentially in the Caribbean once we get into next week, giving an early heads up on that. Okay. Okay, so if this area gets a name, the next name on the list is Patty. Again, not sure yet. What I am sure is that we're going to have a ton of rain in some spots, and then I'll fine tune that flood threat. What I'm not quite sure is how much this area will develop, but the next name on the list is Patty after that, Raphael. Now, this is a monster. This was a category five yesterday. Huge system. This is right where I like them 
over the water, not over land, right out to sea. Here's Mexico as expected. This all moved away. In this, a piece of this was Nadine. The leftovers of Nadine on the Caribbean side uh, rolled right into the Pacific and added to this. And this here is Christie. Now watching Hawaii. Here's Hawaii right here. But what's going to happen is this is going to take a path a little bit more toward the northwest. And as it does, it is going to lift in latitude. As it lifts in latitude, it will encounter cooler water. So here's Hawaii. So moving away from Mexico and then going out in time, powerful Christie, which is a category four right now, will lift to the north. Here's Hawaii. And you see it by the time we get into the weekend. Through the weekend, we should see some substantial weakening out of this as it just still sits out over water. So to me, that's a perfect hurricane over the water, not a bother. Of course, I was thinking of shipping channels, but staying over water and then weakening. So a major hurricane over the next couple of days, winds right now on this at 150 miles per hour. And then eventually as we go through the weekend, we'll see the weakening trend. And by Sunday night and Monday, this may uh, totally fall apart at that point. Now this here, the remnants of Oscar, the Avalon Peninsula, you may have uh, been woken up by some gusty winds last night, right? Uh, we're seeing that onshore flow. These are the remnants of Oscar, which got tied into a front offshore flow over toward Nova Scotia. Here's that front that helped kind of steer this moving through uh, Quebec, moving into New Brunswick. Once we get into tomorrow, most of the action will be pulling away from uh, Newfoundland. And then we'll just be watching this next front moving into the Atlantic region of Canada. That will bring another shot of some chillier weather uh, moving in. But as we go throughout the day, keep me posted on, on what you're getting with some of the gustier winds and some of the waves and of course some of the rain. Let me know how it's going with those uh, remnants of Oscar. Short term, look at Freeport down through New Providence across the Bahamas uh, next to nothing as far as rain goes. Now, let me swing here. Let me get a little bit more to the south, south here of Cuba, uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Once we get deeper into the weekend, the rain chance is going to start to bump up. So we could see some totals over 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. That's with what's going to start to build in the Western Caribbean. Hit or miss Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. See some blue on the map in Guilla, Antigua, Barbuda through Dominica. If you get a shower, 10 millimeters of rain, maybe half of an inch of rain uh, possible. A little bit more. We already had some in Grenada and Trinidad. Just a little more energy moving in here. Some scattered showers will be possible. We could get a few spots getting 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain, including northeastern Venezuela, parts of Guyana, and northern Suriname. But this here, this is going to be the concern, and this is what I'll break down for you through the weekend. That rain threat, we're going to see a lot of rain building. Watching parts of the Yucatan, mainly Yucatan Peninsula, mainly south of Cozumel, back through Belize, swinging back toward Honduras and Nicaragua for some higher totals through the weekend of upwards in some spots of 100 millimeters or four inches of rain, even a few pockets watching over toward Guatemala. So uh, let me know from Panama, Co Costa Rica, north through Mexico, how you're doing this weekend as that rain starts to build. But Mexico City north, generally the dry conditions. So we're unsettled now in Jamaica, but our rain chance is going to build. Again, across Jamaica, thank you for sharing this information. We don't have a hurricane moving in, but we do have an area we are watching. If it were to to develop. If it does develop into a tropical storm or even a hurricane, I will give you plenty of advanced uh, notice on that and what we could expect. Same thing goes for Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, Haiti, as we watch this area evolve through the weekend. Cayman Islands Sunday, there we go. That rain chance is getting higher. We are unsettled as I was breaking that, that down for us. Trinidad and Tobago, a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms for us. 20 to 30% chance in Barbados. St. Lucia, 20 to 30% chance as we go through the weekend. Better 40 to 50 percent chance. We did have some rain last night. May have slept through it in Grenada, but we did already have some of that rain. 40 percent chance the next two days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance about 30 percent over the next couple of days in Martinique. So this is isolated stuff. Dominica, an isolated 20 to 30 percent chance through the weekend. 30 to 40 percent chance the next couple of days in Guadeloupe. Hit or miss Antigua, Barbuda. A lot of us stay dry. May catch a shower too. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, but that rain chance pretty minimal. And of course, Anguilla uh, St. Bart's. We're going to be on the hot side too uh, with the uh, lack of rain. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia. Rain chance is only 20%. Now we'll have some scattered areas of rain possible across uh, Puerto Rico the next few days right through the weekend. We're going to have about a 50, 40 to 50% chance. 30% chance British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Bahamas, we are mainly on the dry side. Big difference uh, from earlier this week. Turks and Caicos, rain chance as well on the low side. 40% chance in the Dominican Republic. We need to watch this area very carefully. So thank you for getting the word out about this across Hispaniola. 
both the Dominican Republic and Haiti, because if something does develop next week, it may start to uh, lift in. So all eyes on Haiti uh, should be, uh, we should be really watching this uh, area to see how it develops. If this comes into Haiti or the DR, I will let you know, of course, plenty of uh, advance warning, but here we go in Belize. Let me know your location, what you got going on this weekend. The rain chance bumping up right through the weekend as the moisture builds. Aruba, about a 30% chance. Same thing in Curacao. Some of this moisture, though, that will build next week may find us over toward the ABC Islands. 40 to 50% chance in Guyana, northern sections. Rain chance very low this weekend across Suriname. Rain chance 30% in Cuba, isolated, of course, watching to the south what could develop. Rain chance starts to bump up again through the weekend. Costa Rica and Panama, Nicaragua, 80% chance on Sunday, and we are on the high side in Honduras, especially uh, closer to the uh, Caribbean you are. Uh, that rain chance is going to be high as we get deeper into the weekend. Guatemala and El Salvador. The rain chance will be building. Mexico City, we are mainly dry today. Rain chance starting to build some as we go through the weekend. Scattered about across the Yucatan Peninsula, Merida, back through uh, Cancun, northern Colombia. Rain chance 40% tomorrow. Today and tomorrow, northern Venezuela, about a 40% chance. And the leftovers of Oscar that brought some uh, wild weather on Wednesday to Bermuda. All of that is away. Nice little payoff uh, back behind it. So a tropical storm threat in the Caribbean. That threat does is getting higher. There's a better chance we do get some development, but again, even if we're not going to see a named system, flooding is that first concern with that. Still uh, still early in this. There's nothing right now, so uh, still need to see kind of where the heaviest rain will be and where this area will eventually move, and a lot of that will hinge on the fronts up to the north uh, that kind of will try to pull this thing and eventually steer it. So thank you for getting the proper word out. I just want the good perspective that as of now, this is just an area to watch, but I do want attention on this, of course, uh, because if this does develop, I want to get the proper word out about who may need to prepare, how much rain we're going to get, and that flood threat. So thank you for your trust. Have a good rest of your day.